So, so far we are almost there uh, with equipment. We are left with uh, the carrying value at the end of the year as well as accumulated depreciation uh, at the end of the year. Now we, we do have a carrying value at the beginning of the year. So we'll calculate, we'll say carrying value at the beginning of the year. Uh, 220,000 then we go down we say uh, plus plus 55,000 and then minus 58,850 then it give us 216,150 that is our carrying value at the end of the year, 216,150. And then we are now left with the accumulated depreciation at the end of the year. Remember, accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the year plus depreciation for the year will give us accumulated depreciation at the end of the year. So let's check it. Uh, accumulated at the beginning is 341,000 plus depreciation for the year that is 58,850. It gave us 399,850. So 399,850, and it must be in in brackets that is our accumulated depreciation at the end of the year but in any case you don't have to go there immediately when you have any two figures because we have the cost price at the end as given already 616,000 and we have calculated accumulate I mean carrying value at the end we can simply say uh, we can simply say 616 616,000 minus 216,150. It will still give us the same answer. Uh, that is 399,850. So we are done with the equipment. Let's check the vehicles. Remember we said we check first what is given to us. So information as at the beginning of the year there is given to us that we started with the uh, vehicles of 814,000 with accumulated depreciation of 294,800. There is a zero there. It means no equipment or no vehicle were bought during the year. So it's a zero there. But we must calculate now the disposal at carrying value. Remember with disposal, it means there is one vehicle that was sold during the year. We must also calculate something there at the end of the year. What happened? carrying value at the end, cost price at the end, as well as accumulated depreciation at the end of the year. Let's refer back to our question. Point number four. It says a vehicle was sold for cash at carrying value on 31st March 2012. This has been properly recorded. The details of the asset sold from the fixed asset register were as follows. Cost price 165000 uh, accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the financial year, 66,000. Uh, depreciation rate is 20% per annum on the diminishing balance method. And then depreciation on all vehicles is 98,890. So let's check for depreciation. It's not a problem. They, they've given us the amount already there for depreciation. We are looking for the carrying value, disposal at carrying value. Now let's check. When we check the disposal at the carrying value, they said the vehicle was sold for cash at carrying value on 28, I mean 31st March 2012. So we must check our accounting period. So our accounting period ends on 30 June 2012. So it means it starts on the 1st of July 2011. And then the asset was sold when? There it is the information. The asset was sold on the 31st March 2012. 12. So we must check what is given to us. We are given only the cost price of the sold asset, 165, as well as the accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the financial year. Now, how do we go about calculating that? They said our accounting period starts on the 1st of July 2011. 
to 30 uh, June 2012. And then we are only given the accumulated depreciation as 66,000 at the beginning of the year. But the asset was not sold there. It was sold on the 31st March 2012. It means we had the asset from here up to there. So we must count how many months did we have the asset before it was sold because it was sold on the 31st of March 2012. Now we must count. It means we had the asset for July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. So we had the asset for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 months before... Uh, it was sold. So we had that asset for nine months, so we must calculate. They said the, the method of calculating uh, depreciation, it is indicated there, that is the diminishing balance method. Remember we said when you calculate depreciation, we must also check uh, the method, the rate, and the lifespan. So in this case, we only had that asset for nine months. So how are we going to calculate? We'll say uh, 165,000. That is the cost price minus 66,000. That is the accumulated depreciation to get the carrying value. So we'll calculate there, we'll say uh, 165,000 minus 66,000. It will give us 99,000. Then 99,000 multiply by, uh, they say is 20%. 20% and then multiply by 9 divided by 12 because we had it only for 9 months. So we'll say there we'll get 99,000 and then we'll multiply 99,000 by 20 over 100 multiply by 9 over 12. Then we'll get uh, 14,850. 14, what is 14,850 is depreciation of the sold asset. So depreciation plus 66,000, that is accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the year. Uh, we'll say there plus 66,000. It gives us 80,000, 80,850. Remember, this is the accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the year plus depreciation for the year, it will give us accumulated depreciation at the end of the year of the sold asset. So this is the accumulate. We needed to calculate accumulated depreciation because they said the asset, the calculation of depreciation is at the uh, carrying value, and we need disposal at carrying value. Remember disposal at carrying value, you calculate carrying value is cost price minus accumulated depreciation equals to carrying value. So how much is our cost price? 165,000. And then how much is our accumulated depreciation as calculated on the calculator there? 80,850. So we'll subtract that 80,850 to give us, uh, it will give us 84,150. This is the carrying value of the sold asset and it must be recorded on the note there this is the carrying value the disposal at the carrying value uh, that is 84,150 and it must be in in brackets this is how we go about calculating that figure